In this video, I'll show you three ways to optimize your images for SEO. What's going on? I'm Michael Quinn from My Site Ranked, bringing you the most practical SEO tips for the average Joe and Jane. If you want to get my exclusive SEO resources, head on over to MySiteRank.com and check out this video's description for links to some of my best stuff. With more and more competition vying for the top spots on Google, every inch counts when it comes to your search engine optimization. And images are one of the most commonly overlooked elements on your website. Let's talk about three ways you can optimize your images to give you the edge with Google. Tip number one, resize your images. Website page speed is a growing SEO factor for Google, and large images slow your website way down. Slow loading images are not only bad for the user experience, which is also a ranking factor, but Google actually puts more weight on the mobile side of your website versus the desktop when it comes to SEO. So you should really be optimizing for mobile anyway, meaning there's less and less of a need for gigantic images on your site. Here are some things to keep in mind. Resize your images before uploading them. Don't rely solely on WordPress plugins like WP Smush to compress your images after the fact. Most photos and stock images these days are huge in size, and a plugin like this won't do much to shrink a multiple megabyte sized image. My typical rule of thumb for image size is no wider than 1200 pixels or less than 250 kilobytes in total file size. The truth is, besides banner images, most images don't need to be very big. There's really no need for them to be any larger than they actually need to display on your website, which in many cases is between 350 and 750 pixels. And I personally recommend JPEG over PNG or other file formats, unless your image needs a transparent background. In that case, you can go with PNG. Tip number two, rename your images. The file name of your images actually impacts SEO. I'm amazed how many websites I see using images with file names like this. Keep in mind, image file names actually help Google understand the subject matter of the image. It's just common sense. Do you think this image or this image is more likely to rank? Hmm. So how do you choose image file names? Well, it all starts with your keyword research. If you do organized keyword research up front, it makes this part so much easier. Check out my videos on how to do keyword research. I'll include links in the description for this video. In a nutshell, the purpose of keyword research is to select one focus keyword for each page or blog post on your site, along with additional supporting keywords. When I do keyword research, I usually end up with several keywords for each page, like so. This makes the process of naming images a breeze. Simply organize your images by which pages they're gonna go on, then use the keywords for that page in the file names. For example, for the main image, I'd use the focus keyword in the file name, or I might simply just use the keyword as is. For additional images on that page, name them using the next most important supporting keywords, or the keyword that most closely matches the image itself. And if you want to get the keyword research template I used here, simply go to mysiteranked.com forward slash kit. Tip number three, write SEO friendly alt text. Image alternative text is a description associated with each image on your website that search engines use to understand the image, but also used by assistive technology for people with disabilities to describe exactly what is in the photo and in some cases even required by law under the Americans with Disabilities Act. Usually the image alt text will be empty by default, so you'll most likely need to manually add this for every image on your website. I recommend using the same keyword used in the name of that image file in the image's alt text, while still accurately describing what's in the image. In WordPress, you can add image alt text inside the details for each image in the media library. And the process is pretty much the same for all other website platforms. With these three tactics, you can now optimize the images on your website and give yourself an SEO edge over your competitors. 
Not to mention, following these steps will also help your images appear in Google Images, another potential source of traffic. So which of these tips are you gonna implement first? Let me know your biggest takeaway by leaving a comment on this video. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button to see more SEO videos just like this one. And click that bell so you'll get notified every time I post new content. I'll see you in the next one.